Hello, my name is John Madigan. On today's show, my new show, Tech Time, today we'll be discussing how you can download songs off the popular website SoundCloud.com. SoundCloud is a website where anybody can upload their own music or someone else's music as long as they create an account. It doesn't matter how big the file is or how long the song is. Now sometimes, as an artist, you can choose whether or not you want the person to be allowed to download the song. And sometimes you, you will be able to in MP3 format, which is just great. But other times, they will not allow you to. But there are, a way, there are ways around this. And I've seen a bunch of the YouTube videos, and you know, they make you like download programs and stuff. And if you're like me, you don't feel that safe doing that with third-party programs with companies you don't know, you've never heard of before. Well, today I'm going to teach you how to download songs off SoundCloud that are non-downloadable without using any programs whatsoever. Take a look. Okay, so we're on SoundCloud.com, and as I said before. There are some songs that they allowed you to download, like this one right over here. If you wanted to download this song, you just zoom right in, you click on download, and then you can just download it that way. But then other times, you have songs like this, where there is no download link. See that? It's just share and save the favorites, which is not good, because I want, it, I want this song. So what are we going to do? We're going to go into... View, and we're going to click on View Source, right there. We're going to click on that, and we have all this text. What is all of this text? It's all the codes that, that is on this page right now. So what we're going to do is make sure you click on this, you click on this page with all the codes, and then we're going to go to... Edit, find, find, and you're and you're gonna have this little drop down bar open up. Now what you're gonna type inside this this bar is stream URL, one word, and you're gonna look for the first match it finds. Make sure you go all the way to the top of the page. Type in stream URL one word, and it should be the first one. Because there's other songs on the side of the page that we'll also copy the code for. So you're gonna look for the first one. So it brought me over here. See, it says stream URL right here. This is the file that's uploaded to to uh, SoundCloud. That's just that's just the song. So we're gonna copy and paste this link gonna end with usually a number or a letter. You'll know it ended with the uh, with the parentheses at the end. We're gonna open up a new tab. We're gonna paste that in there. Ladies and gentlemen. And now we have that song. But we didn't download it yet. All we did was that we just have the URL for it. So what are we gonna do now? Well if you're using a PC, then I think if you if you put that into the computer, it'll just come up with a gray bar and ask you if you want to save it to your music folder, which you will do. But if you're like me, you're using a Mac, Mac does not supply that feature. So what are you going to do? You go into your email, and then you send an email to yourself with that link that you copy and pasted, not the link that it changes to when you put it in there. So you just send a regular email to yourself, SoundCloud song, copy and paste the link in there, and send it directly to yourself. So you got that song, and then you, what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the link, and then you're going to click on download linked file, and now it's going to download, it just downloaded. So now we're going to click on it iTunes is opening up, and now it is just downloaded. So that's all you really need to do. You just need to send it to yourself, and then you can just download it 
and it saves right into your iTunes folder, and you can put it on your uh, your iPod, your iPhone, your Zoom, whatever you need, and it completely works. No downloads required. No download of program, I should say, is required. And I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Tech Time. I hope I was, you know, easy to understand. I hope I wasn't getting like too technical on you. So um, yeah, please leave it. Please leave what you want me to teach you in the comments. And you know, maybe I'll choose it out. You know, if you have enough responses, let me know what you want to see inside these videos because that's what I want. I want to do. I hope you all have a nice day. My name is My name is John Madigan. Please go to www.jmadigan.com. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the near future.